cunnilingus, or eating pussy, is a very enjoyable sex act for both the receiver and the giver. Now I know that pleasing the vagina might be scary for some of you, but fear not. It takes practice and a willingness to learn, and you can do it. Here are some tips for you aspiring pleasure givers. Talk to her. Every woman experiences sex differently, so talk about her likes. If you're the giver, ask her questions. Read her body cues. Tell her to show you. If you're the receiver, give feedback, both verbal and nonverbal. And remember, sex should be fun, so be playful. Make her feel at ease. Oral sex can be a very emotionally challenging experience for some women. Make her feel comfortable about her pussy. Say, I love your pussy. I love the way your pussy smells. I love your taste. Everyone likes to be stroked. The ego first, and then the clitoris. Foreplay. Now some of you might be thinking, hey, I thought eating pussy was foreplay. It can be. But treat conolingus like its own sex act. Work up to the clitoris. Before we go on, let's run through the basics. Work up to the clitoris. Make her wait. Teasing her will only make her beg for your tongue. Approach slowly, kiss her, play with her breasts, kiss her stomach. Run your teeth along the inside of her thighs down to her pussy. Let her feel your breath on her clit before you touch it with your tongue. The pussy is like water. You've got to heat it up before you can get it to boil. The dick is like fire. It can be switched on and off in seconds. Your dick will probably be hard doing this. That doesn't mean you have to use it. Stay focused on her. Involve other areas of her body. The clitoris can get overstimulated and sore, so be gentle. The nerves of the clit run through other areas of the vulva. Explore. Try to elevate her pelvis with your hands or a pillow. Grab her hips, touch her breasts, hold her arms down, and squeeze her thighs. Some even like a little bit of butt play. A finger in the butt. But ask first. Don't ever lick or touch the anus before the vagina. That might cause UTIs. Use your hands, be ambidextrous. A lot of ladies like one or two fingers in their vagina while your mouth is busy. Touch the G-spot with a come here motion. Rest your tongue if you need to. You've still got your hands. Rhythm and pace. Play with different amounts of pressure, gentler in the beginning, building with more and more pressure. Start with slower movements and increase your pace slowly. Move with her rhythm. Orgasm. It's not a race to orgasm. Many women can't climax through oral stimulation, but that doesn't mean it doesn't make for great foreplay for penetrative sex. If you want her to climax, rhythm counts. Find a rhythm that she likes and don't stop too soon. In summary, cunnilingus requires variety and then consistency. After orgasm, hold her, kiss her, stroke her. So givers, I hope you learned how to please me. I'll be testing you all later.